Camper and I are going on a walk. He's attached to me with his leash. He's been doing really well off leash lately because his allergies have kind of slowed him down. Now he's freaking back in action and he will bolt as soon as he gets the chance. Come on, Camp, go. Go. Go, I wanna walk. Should we go this way? Let's go. Turd. So today's my day off. We have had dozens of people this summer already coming and staying out at the scamp with us. We've got so many friends and family who are just super supportive of what we're doing. They wanna come be a part of it. And that kind of means that we become camp hosts, which is great, but being that we work for ourselves, um, it's hard to find time between making sure that these people are having a really great experience, a healing, fun experience, and learning about what we're doing, but also giving ourselves time to make content, get our work done. Something that I'm pretty routinely battling with myself on is work. Life is really different living in a scamp trailer in the forest. We don't have any bills, we don't have rent, so we don't have to work like we used to when we were back in the city, having to pay for all of the things that cost a lot of money. What I'm battling is that feeling of not working hard enough. Hey, 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 come here. Everyone around me is working nine to five jobs. They're sitting at their computers all day long and getting a paycheck. Because I don't have the same outrageous expenses, I am not bound to a job in order to pay for those expenses. When I want or need money, I work. Do you wanna hear how I make money? This is a very frequently asked question. Um, I make money on ads on YouTube, sticker sales, print sales, custom digital design work, logo work, mural art, contracted video work. I have a lot of things that I am good at that I can go and pursue if and when I need money. And what's been happening lately too is that we've been so dedicated in making content about the scamp that companies are seeing us finally and they're sending us things that help us live. Everything is working, like life is working, but I still get caught in that system that we're taught from day one that we're supposed to get up, go to our job, come home, make dinner, go to sleep. And that's not how we do it anymore. <clears throat> All these people who are coming out, they are wanting to experience what we're experiencing. So I'm trying to give everything that I can to them and make this a worthwhile experience so that maybe they will come and <laughs> do something like this for themselves. But I guess all this to say, we've had a lot of people here and I am, um, haven't been working on my own stuff. But today is just gonna be another one of those relaxed videos showing you my life. I hope you find it interesting and please comment below what you think. Okay, you got your break. Can we keep going?
I made some lunch, a salad and some noodles, and now I'm gonna try my walk again. It's a one and a quarter mile loop, I guess. I've never done it. I don't normally hike alone, but today's a big day. <laughs> We're totally in bear territory. Maybe even some cat, mountain lion, cat. Yeah. getting hot taking off a layer that way the bears won't have to go through an extra layer to get to all my meat <sighs> I was going to listen to a podcast instead I'm just trying to listen for bear footsteps I've reached the end of this wagon loop I thought this was gonna be an actual loop and now I could continue on the Colorado Trail because I'm pretty sure it meets back up with another trail that's close. I just don't know where. I don't know which direction. <sighs> so I'm just gonna go back. Another mile and a half to go. I'm tough. I'm really freaking tough. Way to go me. Hair down and everything. Today is a perfect day to go on a hike. This is a ponderosa pine. If they're old enough, I think it's the age that does it. You can smell them. And they smell like vanilla cake. It's pretty freaking cool. Our buddy Reed gave us this water filter, so we're gonna go give it a little test drive. <laughs> Fresh snow melt water, my lady. <laughs> what? It's good. It is good. Making some special ramen noodles. Hey, Kemp, are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> Camp, are you hungry? She says, yes, Mom. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, and everything you're doing looks pretty fucking thin. So I'd say you're doing it right. Spinach. Oh my gosh. Kale. Are you sad? Yeah, what? How did you travel? Like, how did you transport yourself? Turmeric, oh, wow. nutritional yeast. I just found out the nutritional yeast is super good for you. It's a bunch of micronutrients, pepper, and cayenne. Oh, it was sold out. The ecstatic dance, especially. Oh, bummer. Super fun. It was really nice to have them. We've had a lot of people out here, but Yeah, so good. They're on their way to it. My sister Rachel has been in Bali for just about three weeks and she's about to come home I can't believe it. That was her on the phone. It was nice to talk to her I was going to make rice and beans and salad because we've got all of our fresh vegetables from the farm that we got yesterday But I don't want to so I'm gonna make a peanut butter sandwich with banana. What? Look at this. Working great. <laughs> Are we out of the big water jug? Or no. you're just having fun? Oh, I'm just having fun and prepping. <laughs>